West West Show. You're one of the guys, maybe one or two out there. I don't know, but you're the probably only guy I've seen just talking about food, healthy food. And you know, when you talk about when when you hear that saying, I think it's a percentage they talk about. Like when you if you want to be healthy, twenty percent is exercise, eighty percent is I don't know if that's the right percentage. Twenty percent exercise, eighty percent is what you eat. So, and if you look at those stats, eighty <laughs> percent is huge. And and there's no one out there talking about it or doing stuff or showing people how to eat and all that. Maybe they are, but I haven't seen anyone quite like you and your page doing it on the daily. You know, and that's and and you're being perseverant because you know when you talk about perseverance, we've got a problem with um, obesity and. You know, our, our death rates are low. Hey, I mean, our death ages are low, eh? Um, compared to the the Balangis and stuff. But, um, yeah, it's all that. Um, yeah, it just seems that there's not much out there to for people to to see someone that's doing well eating and showing you how to eat well. Well, you might be the only person. <laughs> well, I can say to you that after this, um, yeah, I'll be definitely going back on track so that when I come back to you, <laughs> I can show you what it looks like as well. But I think also at the same time, you know, um, there's, there's, it is so true. And uh, having been down that track, and that's why I want to say, you know, having been down that track doesn't mean that you're going to stay on track. It's, it's really trying to, you know, it's a lifestyle. But that lifestyle can't be just you. It has to be part of your aina, part of your, your environment. You know, there's nothing worse when, you're looking good and your family are looking like <laughs> so they look like death warmed up on you <laughs> so you know um it, it and that's more challenging uh if it's just you if, it's, if we were single oh sick yeah but we're not we have other response and that's that's sometimes the challenge that we mm. Because you want to bring, and how do you bring your whole eye? And that's where, you know, Talanoa is critical, you know, sitting down and mapping this out and what does it look like when you know your five year old looks like he's 17 stone and he's like, oh, I'm still hungry. And then <laughs> maybe hungry is not the issue here. Maybe you just need to uh, change your habits and sort of thing. And so, you know, um, I think of anything, and I, and, and I guess when I listen to what you're sharing, there's a lot of, there's a lot that I can do that's better. And this is one of the things that I, I want to, um, you know, challenge myself after this is, okay, let's get back on the horse and let's get to that stage where I want, where I was before. And part of it was get through the eating side and then show to people, you don't have to be a marathon runner, but by eating well, and then they can see the changes happening with me this is us going through those changes. So what does that mean? And for me, it's like a little bit more exercise, whether it's walking, swimming, or whatever. But you can do it. But until I get my eating right, I can't go to the next stage. And that's why I'm really excited about after this. Like, okay, go home, eat all those biscuits, eat everything else, <laughs> and come the new month. Kakonga, let's go. And wah, ba, my heart attack. Yeah, very good there. Kangaloa, you know, uh, sort of thing. So. Um, yeah, I, I never thought of it that way. It was all I just, um, yeah, I just think now when I, when I think about what you're saying, you know, I'm, I never thought of it that way, mm. you know. Yeah, because, you know, when you started the, the page, like, at some point you've thought, you probably thought to yourself, okay, I need to, I need to do this, I need to inspire people or, or yeah. put it out there for people to look yeah. and you know, yeah. just just encourage healthy eating, healthy lifestyle, and that. Yeah. Um, or was it in the beginning something for you to to be a, accountable? Oh yeah, sorry. Accountable? That, so, but then, yeah, very good point there. Very good point there, Cam. Part of it was, you know, I needed to be held accountable, which is why I kind of put myself out there because you know, um, it's a bit scary, you know, you sing and do one thing and then, or. Did you eat the? Did you eat the trainer too? Because I can't see any difference between you now and the, the last time. So, so that was part of what I was doing was being accountable to those that were coming onto the page and stuff. 
I slightly have been accountable, but not as strict as I could have been. And so that's what that's what kept me honest all the time. Um, this round, I sort of was 50-50. But I know now going forward, I just and thank you for reminding me that part of that accountability is my weigh-in and how I look and then journeying through the different stages as I drop my weight and so forth. But again, not focusing on the weight, but using the weight as a way to measure yourself, you know, and then, you, and but emphasizing how important it is to, you know, eat smart. And if, if you do, and as you do, you, you, you'll, you'll find your rhythm. And then as a, I guess as a blessing from that, uh, you, you know, we lose five kgs, 10, 15, 20. We, we're just different. We, and then using that, that energy to then channel it to the next phase, and that is, you know, exercise. But being careful, you know, you don't want to then turn around and start lifting weights and try and be the he-man, and it's like, that was never part of it. Is it still trying to maintain balance? Um, but I I will admit that it's been tough this second round um, because... It's just been tough, yeah. And I think part of it is just the realities of life. Mm. Um, These know. challenges you face with the realities of life, like work comes into play and, and just family. You know, the the one that sort of got, I got insight on is how you said it's good to get all your whole family involved because mm. they're the ones living in your house yep. and we're yep. eating the same food, yeah. you know, yeah. so... Yeah, that's that, that's pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty cool. So, was that the is that a challenge now, or was that um, have, have you overcome that? No, I mean, uh, I think it's still a challenge. Um, just just making sure that you know, like I could be really, I see I see things maybe different from say like my wife, and so it's just trying to find that happy medium space. So once I get into my routine, it's like this is what we do. And if she doesn't do it, you know, I've got to I'll give allowances. You know, you have to be, you know, you have to be flexible enough to recognize that what they, what she does is absolutely amazing in her eyes because, you know, I'm not, we're not the same. And so, you know, that's where that conversation between each other is important, you know, um, and sometimes I will get it wrong because you haven't eaten what you should eat. And she's like, hey, man, you're supposed to motivate me, but right now you're pulling me down. I'm like, oh, come on, buddy, you need to harden up. And like, and then you get into that. And, and really what you're trying to do is we should be encouraging, lifting one another up. And don't you can't compare it to one another because it's just never going to be – it's never going to be the same. It's like comparing the All Blacks to the Blues. You know, it's just not going to happen. You know, just totally different levels same goal in mind but they would approach it differently and so that's been the challenge for me for me to be mindful be more considerate be more understanding even though my intentions are good but you know it's like you know when we're growing up you know our parents mean well and there's meaning well and then actually that the actual way of them doing it is like I'm confused. You said I'm I'm a good boy, but I'm getting sussed. You know, I'm sussing you because you I love you. I'm like, what kind of love is that? You know, and, and it just creates another another uh, discussion of you know, just roll with it sort of thing. So that's the challenge, you know. Um, even with my older kids, but again, because we don't live in the same house, you know, I got to be careful. Don't think because you've know, lost the weight, I'm I'm the man. Because again, I'm mindful. Of, you're living oh you know come off like oh this guy because i've accidentally done that not realizing now that's why so there are some things i'm really more conscious about now than i was 10 years ago you know and just so that um you become hopefully uh, um, a model of encouragement not discouragement and so forth 